our very first week with Phoebe. Look at them. They're so cute. Phoebe likes to sleep on top of Adelaide underneath a blanket. So Adelaide will tuck herself in. And as you saw just two seconds earlier, Phoebe then hops on top and does the little cinnamon bun position, but on top of Adelaide, which is very, very cute. This week has been filled with a lot of, well, joy and love, but also unexpected surprises. I think the biggest surprise of all, though, is how well they get along. Some of these clips are from the first hour that we had her home, that they were such fast friends that they were already playing and cuddling. I feel like it's a bit of a cheat for anybody who's introducing a new Iggy puppy into their home with an adult Iggy. These girls are already best friends. Adelaide has never been great with food, but since we found open farm freeze-dried raw food, she has been in love with it. But she does not love it as much as the puppy food. Which makes no sense because she ate this puppy food and she didn't care for it much. We all want what we can't have. So we've been separating them at dinner time, but we've had a little more success recently. To get Phoebe to eat, we have been hand feeding her so that she has a bond with us, but also just to make sure that she is eating and we can monitor that a little closer. Adelaide needs to be put away for that because she gets very, very, very jealous. Doesn't stop Phoebe from trying to get Adelaide to play with her still. They may enjoy eating, they may enjoy cuddling, but the thing they love most is playing. of Adelaide. Whether it's in the pen or on the couch, they're always wanting to be together. Phoebe's a puppy, so yes, the chewing has begun. We try and redirect her with different chews and toys that she can get her teething frustration out on, but sometimes it turns to chewing on us. Between the two of them, you never know which one is going to be the instigator. Sometimes Adelaide is biting at her and and even barks sometimes, which she's never done before, but sometimes it's Phoebe trying to pounce on her head and make her come out and play. They also both have a trick to get away from one another. Phoebe goes under the couch and Adelaide comes on the couch. Best toy is my sister's toy. Best treat is my sister's treat. Best lap is the lap where my sister is. But sometimes they do have toys that they can play together with. Score. Training time. Working on sit for the very first time. Thought we'd document it here. Phoebe likes to get up on her hind legs to get to the treat faster or likes to paw the treat out of your hands. So this one's proven to be a little difficult, but we're always up for the challenge. Okay, so Ryan, tell us about what we're gonna do right now. Every time Phoebe wakes up from a nap, she has to use the restroom. So we're gonna do that now. Okay, come with me. Now she did go recently, but she's also just had another nap. So we're gonna- I have confidence in confidence alone. Okay, and then we close her in there because she doesn't know that she needs to pee, so she usually tries to come out. 
which is stretching. <gasps> Good girl. Good job, Phoebe. Told you, she always has to go. That was so good, Phoebe. Good girl, now you can come out. You can come out. <gasps> Playtime! Do you want a treat? Mmm. You can do it. Yes. Yes. Sit. Good girl. Good job, Phoebe. Good job, girl. Tonight, Phoebe proved to us that our first check-in with the podcast 24 hours, 24 hours after she came home is definitely not exactly what's going to happen for the rest of puppyhood. So Phoebe has been really good with the potty training so far, peeing on the pee pads every time. There were a couple times she peed off the pad, but one was because Adelaide was playing with her and we couldn't pick her up in time. The other time was because she saw the pee pad through the crate and was locked out of the crate and so peed in the little corner next to it. So a few days have passed since our podcast where we told you all how it was going. And uh, you know, Phoebe's had a couple of secret poops. She also had an accident on a blanket for the first time. So the way that we had the crate set up when Adelaide came home, we lined the whole crate with pee pads. So if she had an accident outside of the area that we wanted her to pee on, it would be okay. But with us having Adelaide here already, we decided, well, if she's not peeing on the blankets, then it's okay to just leave the blankets and she pees only on the doggy bathroom spot with the pee pads or we had laid an extra pee pad. The last day or so we took the extra pee pad away only because Adelaide was ripping it up. We had put the paper pee pads. I guess we could put the reusable pad there. So might do that, might try that. Because she peed on a blanket and she kind of looked at us when she did it. <laughs> Just so weird. But we had been really busy, so I taught a fitness class tonight in the living room. The girls were obviously not involved in that. And um, other than that, we've been packing some boxes and trying to organize things. And I think that we just didn't give gr the girls the attention that they needed, as you can see. Adelaide <laughs> here <laughs> needs more attention. Um, but I think that that's why she had accidents tonight. There's a secret poop spot that she likes on top of Ryan's technology cables. And uh, there's another spot that she likes near the crate, but not in the crate where the pee pad is. So it's all a learning experience. And I just wanted to say this because if you listened to our podcast about the first 24 hours, you might've thought, wow, that's a really amazing trained dog already. Guys, you know, every day's a new day and uh, it's all love. So we got a nine week old baby on our hands and a <laughs> crazy dog. <laughs> but I've been loving this adventure so far and <laughs> I hope you're enjoying the shenanigans.